regarding the display area and shall be set back at least five feet from the property lines. Are we clear that we're saying that we don't want it to go any further out than five feet from the business location? We're saying that the distance from the property line, whatever distance that might be from the actual curb, but from that property line inward toward the building would be kept clear for pedestrian use. And if there's an additional five feet, which remember that's the recommendation, is to observe at least a ten foot setback. So that would be an additional at least five more feet for display. Um, that is only really on the north side of the building along Brookwood. I mean, if you look at that site plan, part of the commercial storefronts are more of the interior of the property, so there's no rotted way issue there. So they can use that entire pedestrian walkway if they would like. Um, it gives them the ability that if the north face of the building has some indentations to where it's that part of the building is more than 10 feet, then they gain a little extra display area. So they could have more than five feet. Correct. It depends on the shape of the building. But, we're, but we're okay with that. I thought that our, um, the discussion was that we didn't want them to push it too far out away from the building. Correct. And we were concerned at that point of it crowding the sidewalk and blocking too much. So with the way this is worded, it guarantees at least five feet within the property line and then however many additional feet there are within the right of way. Matt, just for <clears throat> clarification purposes in regards to these conditions, um, obviously this is a new project, uh, something we've never really dealt with before, and it's new for them too here in our community. If down the road we start getting into the actual development of the project and they discover, oops, one of those conditions is a little restrictive, it, all they have to do is just come back and we can amend the condition, correct? Absolutely. Um, plan developments can be amended at the request of the applicant on any of our monthly cycles. It's the same process of review and advertisement that is applicable the first time. Um, and that's whether it's a change to conditions, perhaps a significant change to their master layout plan. Any of those things are possible for them to ask for um, at any time. Um, these conditions are not carved in solid stuff, but simply gives us a good ground base to start. And hopefully, you know, we polish our crystal ball well enough that we've thought of everything. But um, particularly large developments like this, there may very well be something else that we want to look at later. Well, I mean, but for instance, in regards to the maximum square footage for the uh, commercial part, you know, we're setting it at 3,000. If they come back and it's just not quite working, we, we can come back <clears throat> and address that issue more. Correct. Um, we do not know specifically who the tenants might be. We simply know with the CC zoning, there's a pretty broad range of what could be there. We wanted to exclude some of the things that we thought might be a problem. Um, but that still leaves a pretty wide variety remaining. Um, and we don't know what the sizes of the tenants might ultimately be. So it is certainly possible to review that in greater detail at a later date. What we have said is that this staff and this council would be open-minded. And if there's a demonstrated need or a demonstrated impediment, that would be fairly taken into consideration. Thank you. Any other questions, Matt? <coughs> 